Right, so this is what happens when you get a Tesla X 2019 with the glass damage. That's what happened. I gotta remove the glass. Unfortunately, they deliver with the low battery. The battery is dead. So I gotta figure out how to open the front hood in order for me to get the car open because the battery is completely drained. So right now I'm gonna try to remove the shields and maybe there's a special latch or something so we can open the front hood, the bonnet, and there's a total battery inside that we gotta power it up in order to get some power and we can open the doors. So let's get at it. All right, so I work on 2018 Tesla X. Like I said earlier, I was trying to see how we can emergency open your hood when your battery is completely dead. Oh, I remove all these unnecessary things. All you have to do, you gotta remove the front splash shield. And it's really hard to reach. But as you can see, way over there, here's your safety right there. Yeah, I found it. You pull these two red things, and it opens. Now that the hood opens, I'm able to open the hood. Now I gotta locate the battery. There should be a total battery here. I believe it's right here somewhere so I'm gonna gently remove all those parts to get to the battery so I can charge it once we charge this and we get the car turned on I'll be able to open the charging port and put the car in the charger which is right here but I cannot open it right now so step one got the hood to open now we just gotta look at the 12 volt battery I'm gonna remove this little plastic cowl Let's see how it removes. Oh, here it is. That's how it removes, right there. Then to remove this. Now then this is removed. There should be a, a 12 volt here somewhere. All right. Where is your 12? This is your emergency thing. Do not touch that. Here's the negative. Here's positive. You gotta pull this cover off. Here it is. Here's your positive. So we gotta put a positive here. And I believe this is your negative right there. So we can get juice into this car. Oh, here's your battery right there. Here's your battery right there. The 12 battery. We got it to charge this up so we can open the car up. All right, stay tuned. I'm gonna go get a jumper. Okay. Now that I got the power hooked up, here's your positive, and I'll hook up the negative right there. Do not mess with this wire. Like I said, this is for the fire department in case of the fire. Here's your ground, here's your positive. Your bed is located down there. I'm gonna give it a couple seconds so the car powers up. My jumper is pretty full. Once it powers up, I hope I'll be able to open the door with the remote. It's not doing anything, let's see. Okay, you gotta press it, see? I got in my car and I should be able to open this up. Here you go. Now we can charge the car. Whoa! Because the car is completely dead. All right, I got the charger right there. Let's hook up our charging, because the car won't even move. All right, here's our charger. We're gonna hook it up to the regular house charger. What is this? This is yours. Oh, that's not the charger. Going back. I don't know what this is, but it's not charger. All right, now that we got the jumper hooked up, you're able to uh, get the car open and close. I open the back trunk. This is open and here's the wall connector. This cover seat is brand new. Let's see if this got, here is your wall connector, but we're not gonna use that because we don't need it. All we need is a wire. And the wire should be, here it is. Here is the charger, yes. Eureka. We got the charger, 
remember if you use this one it's a hundred it's 115 volts it's gonna take forever to charge your Tesla that's why the wall connector it provides a lot faster charging that's a 220 but for now we're gonna just hook it up to the wall charger 15 amp it's probably gonna take two days to fully charge if not longer so let's try that oh now we can open this because we got power we're gonna plug this thing in and I'm gonna get an extension cord to plug, plug this one in well like I say this thing sends the amperage by itself and since this is a my outlet at home it's only 15 amps it's gonna show you the probably two or three days to fully charge this thing but I need to charge it enough so I can open and close it move it bring it to the garage and replace the glass because the glass is broken as you can see